Hello guys, welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you could download Windows 10 from the official website of Windows in a legal way. To do that, open your browser and type download Windows 10. What you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you are landing on the official website of Windows. So here you see download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And the website is www.microsoft.com. That's the website where we want to go. And here we will have multiple options. So you can click on download now. So next step, once the media creation tool has been downloaded, click on it to run. It's a small tool and Windows will ask you if you really want to allow the application to make changes. You might want to say yes. Let's see. Where is our application? As you can see, the application started running. We have seen the logo for a few seconds, and now the window of the, the creation tool will start. Here we'll have this window saying getting a few things ready, so you must wait a bit. At this stage, the application will ask you if you really want, or let's say it will ask you about the data usage applicable notice and license terms. So I invite you to read through and then click accept if you accept so that you can proceed. Windows again will show you getting a few things ready. This is operation should take between one to three minutes and then you will be loaded or taken to the next window or to the next step. So at this stage, you will be asked if you want to upgrade this PC, just click Create Installation Media and click Next. Use Recommended Settings Options. You can untick this one and choose the language which you want to use. English United Kingdom, what's our language? Windows 10. And here you want to make sure what is the version which you want. There is the 32-bit and there is the 64-bit. If you want to use it for currently used lab computer under Windows 7 or Windows 8, all what you need to do, go to your search tab and type DXDIAC and hit enter. There you should be able to see the architecture used in your computer. If you want to use it for a newly bought computer where it's not stated, just check the box and you should be able to see if it's a 64 based computer or 32, even though most modern computers are now 64. So we're waiting for the DXDIAC to show us what is the architecture of the current computer. So here, I have an HP computer, blah, 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 and the operating system, Windows 10 Professional, you might, you might see Windows 7 or Windows 8, and you will see either 64-bit or 32-bit. So you want to make sure to use the correct one. Or just read on the box, and you will be able to see what is architecture. For now, I will click Next. And here, I want an ISO file. I will click Next. And I will choose a location where to save my file, downloads, and I will try to save it here, and I will click save, and the operation will start. The operation will, might take several minutes before it's completed. So in the meantime, I had just finished downloading, and I clicked finish on the app, but it was too quick. Now let's go to the download file since there is no more steps to follow. And here you will have Windows as an ISO file, which you can use for running under a virtual machine or burning it into an SD card, USB flash drive, and then installing it in, in, a, in an empty computer or in a Windows computer. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.